Hi, I'm Ben Patton, one of the founders of FarmDrop. We've been looking at the way that new businesses like Etsy and Airbnb are changing industries overnight. And we've also been looking at the way that the UK's food industry is changing. So now we see that over 80% of the population have used click and collect in some way. And we've also seen how the growth in grocery sales on the internet is going to reach 17 billion by 2019. We also see that people are looking to buy more local food. In fact, 70% of us want to buy more food locally and only 1% of food currently is sourced locally. So the internet does a few things, but for smaller producers, it gives them the opportunity to provide food direct, more efficiently, more profitably, more sustainably. And the simple principle is just cutting out the middleman and allowing them to sell direct to local communities. So it's a really simple format for customers to engage with. They go online, join their nearest farm drop, and then each week they can browse, order and pay for local produce. Once they've done that, all of the orders are sent to the local producers, who three days later will bring all of the food to a local pub or community centre where the farm drop's being held. And it's very simple and good fun for everyone. We've got a wonderful range of meats, vegetables, cheeses, breads, um, and it's all much cheaper or better value than you find in a, in a lot of local shops or um, even supermarkets. Normally in a retail environment there's always going to be an element of wastage because most people won't order their breads in advance. For us it means that we know exactly how many loaves we need to produce. No wastage, that means that we make savings and we can pass those savings on to the consumer hopefully. If we can reduce the, 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 the amount of cars on the road, the amount of deliveries that we have to do and get everything in one point and people to come and pick up from somewhere local, there are savings to be had and we can pass those savings on to the customer. A kilo of apples doesn't cost me more here than I would pay in the supermarket. You get better quality for um, normally the same price, which is really good. When you buy half a dozen eggs from the supermarket, you're paying the same as you would at Farm Drop. But I can, you know, when I make my daughter an omelette for breakfast or something, you can see the difference. You know, you get that sort of like the rich colour, and she just literally she just gobbles it up. I also like the idea of um, the people who are doing most of the hard work in terms of sort of making the food for us, um, actually getting the lion's share of the income from it. You know, so it's trimming out a little bit, going to some of the. Uh, the massive corporations, that's quite important to me. I, I already shop through Farmdra for my own food now um, and um, part of the reason is the food is as fresh as it gets, it literally is. I mean, yeah, just looking, <laughs> obviously for um, the fish, for example, the, the fish comes out the sea in the morning, you've got it on your plate for dinner time. There's nothing that compares to that. Um, same thing with um, a lot of the other produce that comes you know, through farm drops. So a lot of the, the vegetables, for example, they get picked the, the morning before. Um, they, the packaging that they, are being, that they come in is minimal. So it's, it's, it's a much more ethical and much healthier way to shop because the, the food is so much more fresh and also um, yeah, doesn't go through various different packaging and processing stages. Previously, before Farm Drop, I would have had to go to farm, farm Shop X, to Farm Shop Y, to Farm Shop Z, which obviously most of the people don't just don't have the time for. So I think the format that we've got with the click and collect, which people already know from the supermarkets anyway, is a lot more convenient. So you've got all your, all your farm, farm shop produce on Farm Drop, and people literally just like um, in the comfort of their own homes, order online and then come and pick up everything from one spot um, once a week. I think that's a lot more economical and also a lot more helpful to people, especially when they have busy lives with family and they just can't you know, be driving around for several places. That's why I guess normally they would go to a supermarket because it's all in one place and Farm Drop will or has replaced that in a sense because um, it's as convenient really. 
with the, the fish that we have from Catchbox, it's literally because, first of all, there's so many different varieties of fish that we have here. You know, like today, for example, they caught about five or six different types of fish already. And because it's so fresh and it, it's, it's um, caught sustainably as well, you, you can really taste the difference. And so nowadays, the way I prepare my fish is literally just a bit of salt and pepper and olive oil and you let the fish do the work. <laughs> So every single fish tastes completely different and it's, that's exciting for me as a massive foodie anyway. <laughs> well, I mean the eggs are more or less still warm when we buy them, you know, been late that day. The bread certainly was still warm the, the other week. The meat is absolutely fantastic. And, you know, I don't know why anybody would buy mass-produced supermarket meat these days because it tastes totally different. The people who sign up and become members of, of Farm Drop um, as consumers, they can browse on the website and they can see the producers, they can find out about their history and they can also see the products that are available and then they can order all of those. I think the food is amazing, it's certainly transformed my kitchen. From a producer's point of view, it puts us directly in contact with the consumer. It's an opportunity for us to get our bread straight to the customer with no middleman at a convenient shopping time for them with the fits into their lifestyle. We've had all sorts of local produce, um, all handmade by local producers, something that you just can't get very easily in this area. By, by being a keeper for Farm Drop, I, I earn a little bit, I earn like 10% out of every sale of, of every, every produce that goes through Worthing Farm Drop. And uh, for me, that's just you know, another incentive for um, getting people to come together and um, at the same time earn a, earn a little bit of money as well. Okay. Yeah. I was looking for an interesting way to make some money um, that would work around my two children uh, and Farm Drop kind of ticked a lot of boxes for me really. It enables me to get hold of some fantastic local produce um, which has been driven from a farm to my kitchen and then I'm feeding my kids that which I've been surprised how fantastic that actually feels. With our sort of a system, we can explain the provenance and we can say exactly where it's come from and we can explain why it's important, or we feel that it's important, to produce it in this way and why it's important for it to be local um, and all the benefits that that might bring. So Farm Drop fits very neatly into that because it helps, really, to produce the message, to get to a wider audience um, yes, and hopefully to, uh, to provide a, a livelihood for more small farmers like ourselves. If we were producing purely for the marketplace, so that we, I took my animals to the market and sold them, I couldn't begin to exist at all on the type of turnover and the number of animals that I've got. Because I guess that my, the price that I would get would be between, would probably be about a third of its, of its final cost. Or yes, to the to the consumer. The advance ordering is good because if you did um, like a farmers market, you'd have to take a lot of produce and you'd have a lot of wastage at the end of it. Whereas this way, the meat is all ordered in advance, so you know what you need. Um, so it's good, very good. Yeah, it works well. So for us as, as producers we have certainty of our ordering in terms of we know we won't have any wastage, we have customers coming here on the day who are excited to, to buy the produce, they've already pre-ordered it, and we know that then we can bring produce fresh from the oven, ready for them to take home and enjoy. I like the fact that it's all dealt with on the internet before we get to the drop, so there's no money changes hands, um, everything's sold and paid for, and uh, now there's a, a new system that uh, the farmer doesn't have to wait, it, we just drive there, drop the, the, the vegetables and uh, off we go, back home again. So there's no four hour wait about like you are at a, a farmer's market. Things I really like about Farm Drop is you get all your orders online, um, you know in advance what, it, what it needs to be here, so there's no concern about getting enough stock. It's all ready, you can pre-prepare it, bring it up here. You can then either drop off the goods or you can stop and chat to the customers. All I've done today is set up a little display giving people samples.